My name is Michael Okecho. I'm a senior consultant, pediatric cardiac surgeon, and head of the pediatric cardiac surgery program at uh, Uganda Heart Institute. I'm Dr. Mohose Wakarieve. I'm a consultant pediatric cardiac surgeon at the Uganda Heart Institute. I'm Mura Pascalin, perfusionist, working at Uganda Heart Institute Mulago Hospital. We have an eight month old baby girl who has a condition commonly called a hole in the heart. A ventricular septal defect, which is a communication between the two big chambers of the heart, an unnatural communication that shouldn't have been there. So today we are going to take this child to the operating room and the task at hand is to ensure that uh, that hole is closed. This baby, because of this large hole, has been in heart failure. And uh, the baby weighs only 4.5 kilos at the age of eight months. By eight months, it should be weighing about nine kilos or more. This surgery is done by opening the sternum, and uh, the sternum is the best bone in English. And uh, it is done with the help of the heart lung machine. Here is a heart lung machine. A heart lung machine is a blood pump, but it provides other functions like suction. Now, during open heart surgery, the surgeon needs a heart which is assisted. He needs a heart which is not beating. He needs an empty heart. And this heart should not even receive blood. So it is the heart lung machine that takes over the functions of the heart and lungs during the time when the surgeon is preparing intracardiac defect. So here blood is drained from the patient into our system, whereby it is filtered, it is pumped and oxygenated back to the patient. We also provide myocardium protection by arresting the heart, keeping it cold during the time when the surgeon is repairing the intracardiac defect. And when, all the, uh, when the surgeon has finished with the repair, the patient is rewarmed, the heart starts beating, and cardiopulmonary bypass is terminated. So because of this, we have many people in the operating room, different specialties, from the surgeons who, oper who do the actual surgery, the anesthesiologist, who handles the aspects of anesthesia, that is putting the patient to sleep, monitoring the patient, keeping them sedated, and so on, and administering drugs. The perfusionist who operates the heart-lung machine, uh, operating room nurses, biomedical engineers. Uh, we are able to do open heart surgeries for about 85% of the conditions that children with uh, heart problems present with. Where our patients, once they have been operated, when they leave uh, theater, um, the operations you find that would depend on which type of operation we have done or what was the condition of the patient. So these patients will be admitted under critical care services in the cardiac ice intensive care unit. Now, uh, these patients will recover differently. Uh, depending on the number of factors. Among them is the type of defects which have been corrected, which have been operated, and uh, the other comorbidities, or let's say the other associated diseases that these patients have been presenting. Uh, in our environment here, most of our patients with uh, heart defects are operated late, 
uh, compared to developed countries where resources are immense and available to do all surgeries and you have various centers. So here you find that uh, we have one single center, the Uganda Heart Institute, which is capable of uh, doing these surgeries for a population of Uganda of uh, 45 million population. So it will be difficult that all these patients coming out of the 45 million uh, operated on time. Uh, to give you an idea of the statistics, you find that uh, in a country uh, each year we have about uh, 1.6 million children who are born and uh, with this let's say one percent of them present one uh, congenital heart defect which might need surgery or in any intervention or management so uh, the patients are, are many which means that one single center cannot manage them uh, as how they present so some of these patients are operated late which means that uh, their cardiac function or heart function together with their cardiorespiratory the respiratory the lungs uh, function will have deteriorated and uh, once they are worked on, some will stay in ICU requiring life support or mechanical ventilation longer than habitually what would be necessary. Uh, having said so, we are not able to offer this service to everybody who comes because of uh, limitations. Which limitations are mainly to do with uh, funding of the surgeries, they tend to be quite costly, availability of materials, different supplies, uh, lack of adequate numbers of uh, healthcare professionals, and uh, inadequacy of the facility in terms of the operating space and ICU and so on. So we hope that in the future, we'll be able to offer this service to many more patients than we have been doing up to this stage.